Hi, I finished listening to Baumgartner by Paul Elster. Um, this is the final novel that he wrote. Um, it was published in October last year, a few months before he died in April this year. And it's written by the author when he's in his 70s. And it's about a man in his 70s. Um, Cy Baumgartner is a soon-to-be-retired philosophy, philosophy professor. And he lost his wife, Anna, the love of his life, sort of 10 years previous. And for 10 years, he has been steadfastly locking away the pain. And then one day he has a day of mishaps. Things just, nothing turns out right. It just, things go off. And he receives a phone call from a 12 year old about her dad. And it makes him think about phantom limbs and how if people have had a limb amputated, they get the pain for years afterwards. And he realises that that's what it is for him with the loss of Anna. It's like having a phantom limb. He, he misses her so much. And it's that realisation that sort of unlocks everything. Um, he talks about her first, their first meeting. He talks all sorts of reminiscences about her. Um, and her, all her writing, because she's had one book of poems published, but the, she's got stacks and stacks of paper elsewhere. So he reads these to himself and to us. And at the same time, he's in his 70s, he doesn't know how much longer he's got. He doesn't know how much longer he's going to be able to be active. And so he almost starts embracing the present, taking pleasure in a September day. It's sort of whatever was unlocked um, on that day of accidents. It's unlocked almost like a, not a zest for life, but a willingness to embrace life. And when um, a grad student contacts him, someone who loved Anna's book of poetry, when she contacts him and asks whether she can go through the rest of Anna's work for research, he says yes, because this is a way of keeping Anna alive in the future. And the book is very conversational. It's as, you know, he's just talking. And then we get to the end of the book and you are left wondering what the next chapter is going to be in his life. Um, the, the end, I, I wasn't expecting the ending that I got. I, I don't know what sort of ending I was expecting, but it wasn't what I was expecting. And um, yeah, so I listened to it on Audible and it's actually narrated by Paul Auster himself. So yeah, it, it was a novel about loss and life. So happy reading. Take care.